Today guys, I bring you a one-stop video for the game's best farms. These include legit ways of earning loot as well as methods in which no doubt will be patched very soon indeed. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So within Outriders, there's a ton of things you can do and earn. Today, I bring you the lowdown on the best farms and methods we know of to earn easy and fast loot, XP and also materials. Now when it comes to legendaries, we all know, to be honest, the most legit and efficient way in earning legendaries is expeditions, no one can deny that. But there are a few methods here today, we will be able to get them just as fast, if not faster. But let's start with XP and world tier levels, what's the fastest way to level those up for the folks who ain't running the best gear? Now this is best done in my opinion within a popular spot called Reach the Other Side of the River. This is located within the story point of the first city. Simply load this up and run it till the end as you see me doing on screen now, through all the ads, cross the bridge and to the end with the captain. I mean I've seen a lot of videos where people just run up to the bridge and then restart it but if you do run it to the end captain you earn way more XP. When you are done here back out to the lobby, load back up the story point mission and rinse and repeat this. I got from a world tier 11 to a 15 in literally an hour so it is quite efficient people. But again you will earn world tier levels here and you will also earn character class levels. So next up we move on to epics, what is the fastest way to farm these which obviously as you know dismantle into that titanium but at the same time you will also earn tons of rares here too which will dismantle into leather and iron and you'd also actually get the odd legendary to drop here also. Well this for me is no doubt the same spot in which there's a boss you can kill, die to other ads and spawn on the spot to kill the boss again, earning tons of loot and materials. I mean there's a few places in the game where this is the scenario, you kill the boss, you die to the other ads and respawn. We have the OG captain and the vanguard captain from the demo, but this in my opinion is faster and it's the warlord boss. So the warlord can be found within the story point of dune, select the final source to the distant light story point and simply load in. Run forward, skip the first cutscene, then kill the boss and die to the other ads. And then simply rinse and repeat these people. This is a great method in earning those epic rares and titanium which also drops from the boss under every kill. Also don't forget selling these items will earn you a ton of scrap also. So this is more or less a one stop spot for all loot besides uh, legendaries, I mean you do get them here but they're pretty rare. But in terms of epic rares and materials, this is probably the best spot in the game which doesn't take too much work and require you to have the best weapons and armor. Now if you want non-expedition legendary farming there are a couple of things you can do to guarantee legendaries. The hunts, wanted bounties and the historian events are these picked up from the bird within first city, Ugo and Noel within trench town. These all offer 10 mini side quests each where when you complete them, hand them in, you get a guaranteed legendary. Noah gives armor, Ugo gives weapons and I believe the historian lady, it's random. These again you can do over and over which guarantees you a legendary each time. Now there is a glitch you can do with these which allows you to basically pick the legendary reward. This works as follows. Complete for instance the 10 Noel hunt bounties, go back to him, cash them all in. Once you have done this, do not back out of his inventory menu. Here you want to check out his items for sale. Once you are on the screen, scroll across to sell where you see your items. Here you will see the legendary reward you got for doing the 10 hunt bounties. If this isn't the one you want or need, hard quit out of your game. When you load this back up, all you have to do is simply hand the bounties back in and repeat the process of checking via his stock inventory tab and scrolling across to selling, you will see again the legendary reward. Again if it isn't the one you want, 
Hard create the game. If it is the one you want, you're free to back out of his inventory and you'll be rewarded it. It is as simple as that. Now this does work if you use your wanted bounties and the Astorian event bounties, but only the first time you do them. As once you've completed those 10 step quests, when you repeat them, you actually don't get to select the items as your rewards as you do the first time you complete them, so it also kicks you from their inventories. This means the game saves server side, but if you are doing them for the first time, they work. Have a friend be in there with you, as he will see the reward you got on his screen while you are still in that inventory picking your reward. If his call out isn't the legendary you want, simply hard quit out of the game and repeat the process. It is that simple. So there is another way to farm legendaries which allows you to get 4 in about 6 or 7 minutes and it is really simple guys. This one requires 2 people. One needs to have completed the game while the other person creates a brand new character. The brand new character joins the person who has completed the game and they then load up 4 instances within story points. The first one being a Chrysaloid boss within the Forest and Clay first checkpoint. Load into this on a world tier 1. The higher level character simply destroys this boss, while the lower level player does absolutely nothing. At the end of this encounter, you are guaranteed a legendary on that new character. The higher level player then backs out and loads up Yagak Stage 1, which you will find within Yutagak within the Rescue Your Crew story points. Load this up, follow the main quest to Yagak, take him out, and a new player is guaranteed a legendary from this chest. From here people, the host then backs out to the main lobby and then goes to the canyon of the Grand Obelisk. Here load into the talk to Chana to continue through the desert story point. From here you can grab the hidden chest for that new player. So follow the route I take on screen now to the three secret pillars which you have to activate to open up the secret door to get that legendary chest. does. this for
Another keystone? on this door. Have I seen this before? So once you are done there guys, again back out to the main lobby menu and load into the Caravel Defeat Yagak Story Point. From here, again the higher player takes out the boss and the newly created player does absolutely nothing. Once you've defeated Yagak, this is very important. When their credits come up, make sure the host, being the higher level player, skips the credits first. Then the newly created player skips afterwards. You then go to the Outriders camp where you get another chest which guarantees that new player a legendary. And there we have it guys, 4 free easy legendaries. And well, if there's something here you want, put it in your stash to pick it up on your other characters. Then you just simply delete this character, create a new one and repeat this step over and over, getting 4 legendaries every single time. And while people are there, we have it. The best means of farming and earning that loot within the game, which we know of so far. Use what you want, the choices are here. Some will be patched relatively soon, along with many other glitches, so use them while you can, if this is your thing. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.